Good day guys, Shatik here. Decided to do a premiere instead of a live stream. So I won't really be able to see anything in chat, but it's because there's too many videos and stuff on already and I don't want to see spoilers. And I'm a bit impatient. Also the reason I'm here is because this is my like dark where my last daily commission was. Okay, let's go to our beta's campsite, shall we? And I'm hoping the audio for voice and Genshin is both perfect. It's like Genshin's loud, but you can still hear me properly. Snow. Yes, you tell snow. Let's become traveler, because why not? Hey, Albedo, we're here. Hey. Yeah. Traveler, Paimon. How is your investigation going? Your faces say that perhaps you haven't turned up anything. No. We investigated all over the map, naturally, but we didn't see anyone that looked like you or hear of anyone else meeting you. Yeah. This is not unexpected. I haven't made much progress either. He appears to know that we are looking for him. And has opted to lie low for the time being. Damn. Or maybe he's always operated discreetly. Still, there is one thing I found. I discovered footprints on some parts of the mountain. And although they were a little covered by the snow, I could tell they'd been left by someone of a similar size to myself. Oh. The footprints were quite numerous. So I believe my next step will be to rule out each of the adventurers active on Dragonspine. One by one. All right. We can help that. We have plenty of contact with the adventurers. Yeah, we do. We... Avalanche. Woo! What was that? Avalanche. From that direction. Could it be the imposter? Let's go check it out, Paimon. Yes, let's hurry. Sound like an avalanche. The shadows deepen. Act two has started. And for what I know, there is three acts to this. Just up here. Oh, there's a bunch of rocks over there now. Sound of the voice. What voice? I didn't hear my voice. Huh? Yola? Was most unfortunate. What are you guys doing here? Bennett? Amber? Huh? I'd assume I'd assume it was some sort of bad luck. I have to agree. We've been wandering this area for days. Yeah. We ran into Pallet earlier. You know, the uh um, kind of a reckless sort of guy. You know the one? Anyway, he said he was unlucky, so I gave him some adventuring survival tips. <laughs> From one lucky person to another. Perfect. After that, he disappeared to rejoin the training camp. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. Are you saying that after all this time, you still haven't made it back to the base camp? <laughs> uh, well, as you can see. Yeah. That was nothing really. We just hit a few landslides and snow drifts and took a few downhill tumbles. <laughs> you know the deal. Was it because Bennett was with you? I sound like unforgettable life events to me. Anyway, yeah. You are correct. We haven't made it to the base camp yet. We have had extraordinarily poor luck over the last few days. Almost as if a sinister force has been trying to thwart our every move. Your yeah, Bennett's birthday. <laughs> Bennett is somehow doing it. Fortunately, I made advance arrangements for Gerald to remain in a safe location and conduct some basic physical training exercises. Okay, that's good. I'm sorry. I'm the one to blame for all this. I've always had bad luck, and it always rubs off on everyone around me. It's okay, Bennett. Sorry to create so much extra trouble for everyone. <sighs> I don't know what to say. Maybe this is the awesome power of fate. The scary kind, I mean. It has nothing to do with fate. <laughs> I agree. I'm not scared to be around you. We're just used to it now. Besides, it's not like we have the most amazing luck ourselves. That is true. Really? I think you guys have way better luck than I do. Well, uh, what can we do about that? 
Yep, yeah, Paimon. I... You're welcome to a bit of mine too. Although if the last few days are anything to go by, it seems in pretty short supply at the moment. Take some of mine too. You guys. Have some luck. Oh, thanks. <sighs> With a little luck from everyone combined, we'll make it down this mountain for sure. Yep. Yeah, you bet. Let me put up a treasure hoarder insignia to test it out. Alright, it's tails. The opposite of what I guess. So you can predict your fortune this way? But why are you so happy that you got it wrong? Yeah. That's two sides. So there's a 50-50 chance of me getting it correct. Luck all comes down to probability, too. So as long as I use up all the bad luck, everything else will go smoothly. I guess I could work. Something wrong when I flip an insignia is one way to use up some of the bad luck. So the probability of having some good luck in the near future just got a little higher. Okay. One way of seeing it. Come on, he isn't you, Paimon. Guys, I guessed wrong in my insignia flip, which means we should be able to make it back to camp. Yeah. Paimon's uh, <coughs> not sure that's how it works. Let me try. Well, who knows? This way, right? Let's see if it works. This is a miracle of misfortune. Yeah, like, how does he get so much bad luck? Jeez. I don't usually believe in luck, but Bennett makes the best case for it I've ever seen. Yeah. Amber, if you are ever required to partner with Bennett in your future work and you encounter anything like this again, do not take any rash action. Wait for me and I will come to support you. Jeez. Huh? Y yes, of course. Everyone must be exhausted. Now that you mention it, I do feel a little tired. Checking in the mountains has a way of wearing you out. Yeah. Well, since everyone is tired, why not take a rest in my camp? I'm so sleepy. <sighs> a nice bowl of hot soup and a good sleep would sure be welcome right now. Yeah. <sighs> Suddenly, I'm kind of sleepy too. You've been wandering around there for days. Amber will fall asleep in the snow if we keep going much longer. Come on, let's move. We shall head to Albedo's camp and get some rest. Take stock of our supplies and decide how to get off this mountain. Is Emma going to go after Bennett though? I guess not. Unless he found his way back up to go to where we're going. Alright, we've returned. So much cutscenes and talking. We got this. Here we are. Make yourselves comfortable. Yeah. Oh, oh I forgot. I uh, don't have that many chairs. Uh, please wait a moment. What? What's he doing? Painting? He is. <laughs> He's painting a chair. Wait, alchemy can turn paintings into objects? How is this possible? Wait, wait, what? My paintings are like blueprints. Alchemy simply enables me to omit the manufacturing part of the process. It's an elementary level technique. Oh. With enough research and experimentation, this same technique can even be used to create living beings. No. Oh. Well, since you can magically produce chairs, can I have one of the backrests? I'll have a stool. No problem. How many of you want backrests? Me! Me, me. I'll also take one with a backrest, if you please. It's just me, 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 and I'll just take one, you know. A whole chair is way too big for you, surely. A really quick, it's five chairs for everyone to use. Still some time before dinner. Get some rest, everyone. I'll tend the stove. Hey now, we can't be letting you do all the work. I can help. Please put me to work. Oh boy. 
went till night time. Okay. Just gotta wait a few hours, you know. Just, this this will be okay. Yep. Hey Albedo. Oh, pace yourself. Dinner could be a while. I still have a few things to prepare. When will dinner be? Oh, I could ask you about all of this. No, I'm, I'll do everything else. I hadn't expected you to be so interested in paint. I once tried yeah. turning mist flowers into powder and mixing it with white paint to replicate the sparkle of snowflakes. Mm -hmm. The end result was quite satisfactory. <coughs> but works that use this kind of paint need to be stored carefully. I see. If you want to try it for yourself, I can help you. Uh, about Dragonspine. Even now, I don't believe I have fully grasped the nature of the threat the Dragonspine poses. Oh. But, I will endeavor to keep you safe. That much you can trust in. Okay. How are you holding up? <laughs> I wish I could simply respond with, I'm fine. Yeah. But, you are a true friend to me. So I should be honest with you. That's good. Recently. Certain questions have been occupying my mind. Questions about the nature of life and creation. Yeah. However, I feel that rushing into a discussion with you on these topics before my ideas on them are fully formulated will bring me far more confusion than clarity. Most likely. So I will wait till my thoughts are clear in my own head before I share them with you. Until then, please forgive me. Sure, why not, buddy? About what happened today? Oh, don't worry about it. A chance like this to gather around the fire and chat into the night is a rare and precious one for me. Yep. I won't participate in the conversation much. It's just a habit of mine. But please know that I am enjoying the atmosphere all the same. Of course, I'm happy to continue chatting with you if you'd like. Okay. I'll leave you in peace. my camp, but let's not get bogged down in technicalities. I want you to be able to relax and make yourself at home here. Alright. Bait is a good friend. Hey, Bennett. I wonder if there's anything I could do to help out. Is there going to be four for everyone? Okay, cool. Is there... Okay. You're... It's also going to be four for you. This I don't... This is quite cozy for a Yes. Spine. I'm pleasantly surprised. Don't mind me. Yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna see what they start to say and then I'm just not gonna say like do any of the others. It's so nice and warm in here. I'll leave you sure in peace. Bet you're tired as well. Yeah, uh that's that in total is like uh twelve other lines. Oh, pace yourself. Sixteen total if you included these. Okay, I'm just gonna do this. It's almost ready now. Traveler, please light the campfire and gather everyone for dinner. No I You got this. I made a few dishes based on some popular Mondstadt recipes. If this is no good hunter. But there should be enough to go around. Yeah? Please, help yourselves. Wow, smells great. Don't mind if I do. Wait, don't steal all the fried vegetables. Uh, leave some for me. Hey! Oh, everyone enjoys dinner around an open fire. Ah, hi, Montesquieu. What a great meal. Albedo, you're too modest. These dishes are as good as anything you find in the top restaurants. Are all alchemists so good at cooking? I mean, I know I am. I'm pretty decent at cooking. You may be onto something there. <coughs> yeah, what? what? Climax speaks so <coughs> too. It's this lab manager that gives it away. The kind of guy who holds a potion bottle as steady as a rock isn't the kind of guy who's gonna be flabbergasted with salt and pepper. Actually, that makes a lot of sense. <laughs> yeah. He's happy. I'm 
so sleepy after all that food. Oh, don't sleep. Don't sleep sitting up. Did Bennett fall asleep sitting up? <laughs> he must be totally wiped out. It's been a tough few days. The way he's sleeping is so alert. I'm impressed. Fugu is such bad luck. He's just gotten used to it at this point. Oh. I want sticky honey roast and fisherman's toast. Sticky honey roast. That's your favorite, isn't it, Amber? Mmm, sure is. Give me a sticky honey roast from Good Hunter any day. Yeah. I used to take Eula to Good Hunter a lot back when we first met. Before long, Sarah would start cooking our usual orders as soon as she saw us coming. Ah. Oh. She said she ordered the same thing so often that it was practically muscle memory by that point. <laughs> she also said that if everyone in Mondstadt ordered like we do, her job would be so much easier. All she'd have to do is memorize everyone's favorites. <clears throat> Always eating together. Aww, it's nice that you two are so close. I just love how Paimon asked what she was to do, and Paimon doesn't even get anything. People simply sharing a meal says nothing either way about the relationship between them. Sure. It depends if it's a one-off meal or a regular occurrence. He's not wrong. Uh -huh. Hyman just noticed something. Whenever Eula doesn't want to admit to something, she raises her chin or puts her hands on her hips. <laughs> ah, I just all picked up on that. Didn't know Eula's tells were so easy to spot. <sighs> we are done here, yes. I am free to go, am I not? <laughs> she just wants to get out of the situation, doesn't she? <laughs> then please excuse me. I have a frozen lake I need to be at. Yeah. You're going for an ice bath at this time of night? W wait up! Don't go without me! I thought you wanted to get some sleep. So maybe you should stay here and rest. No, I should come with you. It's late, and it's dark, and you're not good with directions like I am. Come on, let's go together. Alright, see you guys later. <laughs> An ice bath? Whew. Rather dim than Paimon. So much roast meat. Oh. Yep. All right, you two. Time to paint. Prepare to be amazed. Have you decided what to paint? Uh. Why do you even need to ask? It's obviously going to be Paimon. Okay, Paimon it is. Sure. But we should move elsewhere. We're likely to disturb Bennett's sleep if we stay here, so let's go outside. Okay, sure. Gotcha. All right, let's do this. Painting spot. Right up here. Confidence is a good thing. Those to whom it is endowed do well to flaunt it. I'm looking forward to the finished piece. Alright. Now are we actually painting? Are we is it actually painting? Or is it Dopey but adorable? Paimon. 
top quality emergency food. Done. <laughs> this is amazing. <laughs> Not bad, right? I'm pretty happy with it. <laughs> We're just so proud here. Uh, smooth, professional quality. And those eyes! Those poor, lifeless eyes! They're derpy! They're derpy eyes! Uh, Traveler, have you previously received any education in no, the arts? No, but art comes from the heart, so... You pour your heart on the page and this is what comes out? I just wanted to convey how special you are. What do you mean? It's beautiful! Fascinating. It looks beautiful! Paimon, if this is not to your liking, I can make a few amendments. Uh, traveler, what do you think? Please and thank you. <laughs> I'll to make some improvements. Oh, Alright then. Paimon, is oh. this better? I don't know, I haven't really tapped out of the game. But damn, that actually is really good. It's, it's, it's a total ground up owner hole, that's what it is. It's so pretty. That actually looks really good. Adding flourish to the finished piece is an essential component of what makes art, art. Yeah. This is not to say that you differ from the painting on a fundamental level, rather that the real you present two different styles of beauty. I still love the one that the Traveler did. The one that I did. It was beautiful. You remain the core reference point for the painting. So, Paimon, you can put your misgivings aside and hang this painting wherever you like. Now I see the gap in our painting talents. Wow. Thanks, Albedo. Oh, I merely added a flourish here and there. What do you should be thanking the traveler. What do you mean? We had Paimon sitting in a pot cooking for emer as emergency food, and this is completely different. In truth, ground up overhaul is more or less an accurate description. The more Paimon looks at it, the more she likes it. <laughs> Great! Paimon has a portrait painting! Imagine if we actually got this for our teapot. That'd actually be really cool. I'm gonna look so happy, thank you. It's nothing. I can yes. You next time, if yes. You yes. You can hang it in your home as a souvenir. Please, Albedo, please. I rarely entertain so many guests at my camp. It's lively. A little noisy, even. But I don't dislike it. That's good. Liveliness is a rare thing here on Dragonspine. Yeah. Even rest at the camp until morning. Hey, people. Hey, good morning. Yo. <sighs> I slept great last night. How about you guys? All rested up? Yep. I'm fine, as usual. I keep looking at our beta to see to make sure he has that on his neck, so I know if it's the real one or not. Because I know the fake one does not have it. I said pretty well too. The path down the mountain is easier to follow in the daylight. Let's take this chance to head down to the base camp. Yep. If we make good time, maybe we can all get lunch together. Yep. Now just needs to load. I put the Ooh. insignia just outside the camp. Wrong again. So your bad luck is all used up. We'll be down the mountain in no time. Yeah, my thoughts exactly. <laughs> What's gonna happen? Something's gonna happen. Avalanche. Avalanche. 
we got out of it safely, but Albedo and Bennett fell. I don't think so. Uh, I'm, fine. I'm okay, you? Oh, that's good. My arm got a little scratched up, but it's nothing serious. Yola, how about you? I'm okay, but I don't see the other two. I'm afraid the avalanche may have pushed them off the cliff. They fell down? They'll be okay though, right? I think they're both robust enough to survive the fall. But if the falling debris knocked them unconscious, and they're lying there in the freezing cold, yeah, we need to go down. Get down there and rescue them immediately. Okay, let's move. Let's just jump down. In there, guys. Let's go. Head beneath the cliff to look for your companions. Albedo. Thank goodness. Scared the life out of me. If you're dizzy, sit and rest for a while. Ah, uh, it's fine, really. This kind of thing happens all the time. I'll be fine. Thank you. Wait, where's Albedo? Isn't he with you guys? No, he jumped off to try to rescue you. We thought he fell off the cliff with you. He still hasn't shown up? We found Bennett here, so Albedo can't be far away. Keep searching this area. <laughs> Albedo from the traveling for Albedo amongst them. And cannonball, not really cannonball. More like, I don't know. Right over here. Hey, we're here. Well, any sign of him? Nope. <sighs> Not a trace. Nothing for me either. Strange. We didn't have any luck either. Where could he have gone? What if the fake one switched him out so like when he fell and nobody could find him the fake one took him and it would come as him everyone yes it's fake one he has the stars on his next gun the star on his next gun it's not it's not albedo nothing serious look it's gone it's straight up gone okay everyone accounted for no, that's not Albedo. Guys, I, I think it's got to be because of me. The avalanche only happened because I'm here. I don't I think so. Treasure hoarder insignia isn't going to change my luck after all. No wonder no one wants to go adventuring with me. It's okay, Bennett. <sighs> it's okay. I'm so sorry. Don't say that. I'm hardly the lucky type myself, so I'm not about to go blaming every little thing that goes wrong on you. Exactly. Besides, Dragonspine is a dangerous place. Avalanches literally come with the territory. Bad luck has nothing to do with it, okay? Was that really an accident? Traveler, what's wrong? Your face looks... <sighs> oh no, did you get hit on the head? No, Paimon. No, I'm fine. Yeah. Everyone, the incident is behind us now. We should keep moving. Why do I feel that Dragonspine has become more dangerous than it used to be? I hope it's just my imagination. It has become more dangerous. Our top priority now is to get off the mountain and regroup with the adventurers. Whatever further dangers this mountain has <coughs> to throw at us, we must face them together. Yep. Agreed. Guys, keep your eyes peeled and watch your step. 
Careful does it. Thing is, the real Albedo isn't here. They just heat up. Just over here. Whew. We've been heading in the right direction for a good length of time now. We must be getting close. I can feel it. Victory yeah. Great. As soon as we get to base camp, Paima wants a bowl of hot soup and some barbecued meat. Of course you do. I hope we can all get there safely. No more incidents, please. Poor Bennett. Weird things have been happening this whole trip. Something feels wrong, but what is it? The fact Albedo is not actually here. What's on your mind? You seem a little distracted. <laughs> With some things, I don't know where to begin. Something tough, isn't it? Uh, are you hungry? Cold? Shall Paimon hug your head to warm you up? Thanks, but I'm alright, Paimon. I don't think I've spent so much time on Dragon Slime before. It sure is cold. The view is amazing. <sighs> Isn't it, Yuma? Yeah. Yuma? Sorry, I wasn't listening. What did you say? I was just thinking. Whenever I've met up with you at Dragon Spine in the past, we always stick to the same few spots. It's much more vast and beautiful here than I realized. It's also pretty cold. If it were a little warmer and a little safer, I bet this place would be bustling with visitors. Possibly. Something seemed to have Beulah's attention, but she senses something's off too. I agree. People are put off by the cold and have an aversion to danger. They don't realize that there is much to explore beneath the icy exterior. If you were willing to spend the time and energy. Yep. Albedo, is this the way down? Yes. I think there are several routes in this area. Mm, does the path work off here? Looks like it does, but maybe it doesn't. My head's still a little fuzzy from the impact. I'm oh, Bennett. I'm dizzy too. I keep thinking things are swaying a little. Uh, maybe I'm just hungry. Neither path will work for us. The smaller trail is less worn and harder to see, but it's also shorter. Since everyone is weary, I suggest we take the shortcut. Follow me. We're not going to be going to have to camp. I can tell you this is not the way to base camp. Everyone follows Albedo onward. Wait. Yeah. Yes, you're alone. Bennett and Amber don't look well. Can we take a break? We can continue once their conditions have improved. Uh, now that you mention it... Huh? I... You hit your head earlier, didn't you? Oh, you, you noticed. Uh, are you sure it's worth holding everyone up over a little thing like this? Both you and Bennett got hurt, okay? Take a break, both of you. Okay. Sorry for this. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> dot dot dot. Talk to everyone. Can't talk to Albedo. Or fake Albedo. Bennett. Drinking some water can help with the dizziness. Oh, and uh... Lying flat on your back helps too. Yeah. Thank you, Bennett. Seems like you really know your stuff. <laughs> He's probably been hurt that much. <laughs> well, when life gives you lemons. Bennett, weren't you feeling dizzy too? Stop pushing yourselves, both of you. Get some rest. We'll continue when you've gathered your energy. Yep. <laughs> Yula might come off as a little frosty. But she takes caring for her friends super seriously, more than anyone else I know. Every time I see that look on her face, I'm just like, ah, stop staring at me. <laughs> Talk to Yola. Traveler, I know what that look means. But 
What's on your mind? It's like something something bad's about to happen. Navy seasoned veterans have an instinct for it. I sense it too. Something seems to have changed, but I can't confirm for sure. Yeah. It could be difficult to verify. What could it be? It might be imprudent to speculate out loud. But I believe you know what I am referring to. Albedo. Traveler, I think you Watch out. Uh cutscene. Ooh. Epic fight cutscene. Ooh. Do all our beto. It's not over yet. What's happening? That's a giant water flower. Brace yourself. This will be a challenge. Stay back. I'm going to cut this weed down to size. Uh, yeah. Oh. Hold on, hold on. There's one thing I should uh, add on. Uh, just, uh, yeah, that's a lot. That's, that's a nice number of sweet bananas I have. No, don't tab out of this. I attack that time, I could not attack it. Well, take this, you. A fell flower, that's what his name is. What in the world would that be? One moment it was human, the next it was a plant. Yeah. Is everyone all right? Yes. We're fine. But can you please tell us what's going on? I I don't understand. I take it this monster is whom I had the pleasure of meeting last time. Same with us. Correct. You might have guessed. The 
this is a mutated whopper flower. An extremely rare kind. Yeah. Not typically, but conditions on Dragonspine are far from typical. Yeah. Perhaps the dragon's blood seeped into the land, then was passed to the monsters via the ley lines, accelerating their rate of mutation. Possibly. How could that happen? This mountain is home to the remains of Durin, the venomous dragon. If there is anywhere in the world one might expect life to do unfathomable things, it would most likely be here. Makes sense. Durin was an artificially created life form. Its existence is nothing short of a miracle and proof of countless possibilities. In other yep. words, this mountain we stand on is a cradle of life's profoundest mysteries. A vast and terrifying hotbed of possibilities. Yeah, I know that. There's a lot of things that happened here. The avalanche. It must have been the work of this imposter. I think so too. Agreed. All the other troubles you faced on the way down could also have been its handiwork. My guess is that it was targeting everyone that I've had contact with. This warp flower steal your alchemy notes too. Right. I forgot all about that. It's not inconceivable. Now where would the notes be? What was its purpose? Was it just trying to get rid of us? Hmm. I have a preliminary <coughs> hypothesis on this. Yeah? Whopper flowers are masters of mimicry, and those we encounter in the wild often appear in the vicinity of the plants they impersonate. Yeah. The, words, the whopper flower likely has an instinct to replicate and replace. Oh. As a plant, it will disguise itself as another plant and infiltrate the group, hiding among them for cover. The plant being imitated has no way to detect or fight back against this behavior, but I see. when it disguises itself as a human, to replace you and infiltrate our group? Yeah. Yes. Maybe it created the avalanche to get rid of us. I predicted this eventuality, so I availed myself of the avalanche to hide and lure it out. Oh. It was watching us the whole time. And when it saw that I had disappeared, its instinct was to take my place. At that point, its disguise was complete, and its next move was to hunt its prey. I see. Yes. Exactly how Whopper flowers operate. Yeah. So when it approached and attacked Joel, what was that? A trial run? Perhaps. Or maybe it enjoyed posing as a human and wanted to experience what it felt like to be human. We're fortunate to have discovered it in time. I think the traveler was the first person other than Albedo to notice something was wrong. You're the you're the, you're very perceptive too. Traveler. How could you tell the real me? Apart. The star on the neck. I want to know too. I had no idea the other guy was an imposter. <laughs> yeah, see, the imposter it didn't have exactly a. The, same to me. the imposter didn't have a, a star-shaped mark on its neck. I see. It goes to show how difficult it is to impersonate a human. This mutant whopper flower tried its best to replicate the original exactly, but still managed to miss some details. Yep. Unbelievable to think that Dragonspine creates such terrifying possibilities. A wolf flower. It adds up, but a piece of the puzzle is still missing. Was this the same one we met on the day we were chasing the thief? It didn't feel quite the same. Could the whopper flower's mutation be unstable? Anyway, at least we won in the end. It looks like my method did work after all. <laughs> I used up all the bad luck, and the good luck finally came through. About that. Yeah. If you're referring to having fallen down the mountain and avoided injury. That's because I was secretly protecting you. Oh? Uh, well, that still counts as good luck to me. <laughs> yes, that's not an unreasonable way of looking at it. Yeah. Okay. Alright. We've been delayed long enough. Time to move on. Yeah, let's go! Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here before I freeze to death. Teleportation, teleportation.
we have survived back. Yeah. But Cyrus doesn't seem to be here. He must have headed up the mountain. Let's wait for him here. And sure. Are you feeling better? Yep, all good now. Nothing to worry about. I don't know what I'd do without you guys. If not for you, I'd probably still be locked up in that cage. I really yeah. want to thank you all properly, but I can't think how at the moment. Huh? You must be pretty used to being on the receiving end of people's kindness by now, though, surely? You probably need it often enough, given your situation. <laughs> yeah. Oh, come on, don't put it like that. Sure, plenty of people have shown me kindness before. But that doesn't mean I will ever take it for granted. No matter how many times people help me out in life, I will never forget any of them. Ben it's a good boy. Well, instead of forgetting those who helped you, perhaps you could help others yourself. Everyone meets others in need from time to time. Yeah. By choosing to be there for them, you're passing the kindness you receive onto others. Yep, you're right. That's what I've always tried to do, and will always continue to do. Yep. <laughs> right. Yeah. And when Cyrus gets back, I'll find some way to help him out too. Sure, just don't get hurt again. <sighs> this has been quite an eventful day. But yeah, it has. Yeah, it has. It's really hit me how tired I am now that I've started to relax. Am and me literally said the same thing always at the same time. <laughs> Perfect. I need to rest. Everyone, please excuse me for a while. Alright. Yeah, I need to get some water and maybe a piece of fruit. Once I'm rested up, I need to get back to being an instructor again. Have fun. Yeah. It hasn't. Can we find somewhere to rest and chat too? Why not? Then please come with me. Knew he had something to say to you me. Sent something too, didn't you? Then let's go. Huh? Are you going back to your camp again? Um, Paimon thought maybe we could talk here. Come on, Paimon. Set off right away. Yep. Sure. Let's head back to your camp. You thought I'll bait it to a campsite in the mountains. Sorry for bringing you back here once again. Some topics are best discussed in private. Yeah. Is this about the imposter? That's right. I All right. Say, traveler, I'm very surprised you noticed the difference between me and the imposter. Do you mean the mark on your neck? Yes. This mark. Perhaps that's where it all began. Yeah? Ooh, sounds like the beginning of a big story. Keep going. Well, I uh, can't deny that what I'm about to say does sound like something from a children's storybook. Oh? So, what do you think this diamond shaped mark means? Uh, a tattoo? A crest? Something else? A scar? No. Consider it a uh, birthmark. Yeah. Have you ever seen an intricate glass ornament and wondered how it was made? Well, one method for crafting with glass is a technique known <laughs> as glass blowing. The pie one babies in the back. Glass blowing is not a widely known art in Tevat. For this reason, glassware made in this way is usually very expensive. Yeah. As the name implies, glass blowing involves blowing air into a hole. Much like blowing up a balloon. I see. This type of glassware is known for having a pontoon mark at the point where the blowpipe was inserted, where the hole was sealed at the very end. This mark is a sign that the item was crafted by a human hand. I see. It sounds kind of amazing. It is a wondrous and beautiful art form. Alice says that these marks are seen as proof of the maker's fine handiwork, the only flaw in an otherwise perfect work of art. Yeah. My mark is something similar to this. I see. The difference between synthetic and natural life lies in the directional flow of the life force. Yeah. The energy of gotcha. the natural life form flows out from within. That's why flower buds bloom and coral leaves unfold. And it's the very reason we watch and wonder at blossoming flowers. I'm com I'm too confused. I don't actually got gotcha. I'm confused. Creating life artificially, on the other hand. Yeah. Involves to a certain extent the introduction.
subduction of an external source of energy into the embryonic life form. When the hole where the life force was infused is sealed at the end, it leaves a mark not dissimilar to the Pontal mark in glowing glass layers. I see. When the alchemical substance drips and spreads out in all directions, resulting in this rather ingenious diamond shape. Okay. Wow. So that's where it came from. This yeah. mark is a sign of my artificial origins and proof of my imperfection as a human. I presume okay. that the imposter intentionally avoided replicating this mark so as not to become less than perfect himself. My possibly. Should you be telling me all this? You are fundamentally different from other people. I have few qualms about sharing my secrets with you. Yeah? Just as Paimon said, it all sounds like a story. Even if you were to tell anyone else, they would regard it as nothing more than a tall tale. I guess so. The that... transcendent and miraculous are not the only things to which human beings aspire. They pursue the everyday, the ordinary, to a far greater extent than I would have ever imagined. Hence the notion of otherness. People like to believe that those who are thoroughly different from themselves could only ever exist in stories. It makes things much easier. Yeah. In other words, all the unfathomable things we've seen recently would make good material for a novel. I have friends who write novels. If they wrote this story, it'd probably be even more complex. Uh. Making up stories is easy. Even Paimon can do that. Oh. Yeah. I didn't know you had that kind of talent. <laughs> Paimon's the best guide in Tibet. Making up stories is a piece of cake. In that case, how about we have a storytelling contest? Oh boy. We can base our stories on the events of the last few days. Sounds great. Uh, but we still have to help out the adventurers guild. I understand. Creativity is something that cannot be rushed. Take your time. And come back when you have found some inspiration. We'll see whose story is more compelling. Okay. Yeah. Okay, we'll regroup with the Adventurers Guild for now. Sure. Sure. This is a nice story. cut. Oh? Yes, I should have known. Master's failed specimen. your appearance, study your alchemy, and create miraculous life forms to divert your new attention. Sword. The new sword? I would wait for the right moment, and dispose of you and the Traveler, the sole person to have known your secret. And then, I could finally experience the joy of being brought into the world. That's a nice mountain. And that's loading. Act 2 is complete. Ooh. Okay, this is the last thing. Uh, this was the, if you go here, the Rise of the Hill Power. That's the last thing that was on the list. And that's how we get all the other, the rest of the stuff. Like this. Stuff instead. I'm gonna be doing it all off camera because I don't want to do all of this on camera because it would just be too boring at that point. I'll do this though. First, I'll do speed, of course. The agility training. was 
this is a much fail. I mean, I can make it. Come. Oh, up here. Let me. I hate this. I've collected that many. Twenty six things total. Twenty three and thirty. Hey, gold straight away. Gone all these gods first try. And now this one, oh boy. Why is this showing this? Because I gotta click on that first. I gotta teleport. Okay, uh, you like me are. Of course, it's a warp flower. One more, where's the last one? It might be up there. Oh, I think it's over there. Actually. Hey, sniped it. Hey, Santa hat. Okay. There we go, just claim that. And now the sixth one. Just gonna have to glide down from here. I guess short hits, I hit the shells not like I care.
And last is the fighting one. Okay, this is going reasonably good. Never activate the same mechanisms. Okay, I got this. One is up here. Uh, there should be one over here. Or somewhere. Yeah, it was just down there. Alright, I got this one. And the last one is this. We have one like go right next to it. All right. Yes, nice. A lot and a lot of ice. There we go. Challenge completed. <laughs> the exact opposite side of Dragon Spine. Alright, now I get go and head over there. But the thing is, there's still an Act 3. There's still an Act 3 to the quest. Also, what's this? Battle Pass. Don't mind, I'm already at level 30. Uh, yeah, just ignore that. Mm hmm. Nothing to worry about. I don't play this game too much. I don't even talk about it, but okay. Oh, uh, yeah. And it's right to there. I destroy this. Next one is just there. And the last one is from just over here. Get rid of them all. Get 
Yeah, I just do 40k damage with the Scarlet Quartz. And there we go. Now if I go right back to Snowman. To end off the actual thing, I'm going to make the third Snowman. Made the first two. Time to make the third. Oh hey, they're over here. I quite, quite, quite going to talk to them. <laughs> it's been ages since I built a snowman. It's so fun. Still a little cold though. Ugh, my fingers are numb. Poor Amber. And if the cold is getting to you, there's always hot soup back at the camp. Take a rest if you need one. Don't put too much pressure on yourself. So Amber really feels the cold, huh? But fancy Eula, it doesn't seem to affect you at all. Maybe it's because of our different capabilities. Elemental energy is... <clears throat> sorry. Not something you need to know about in any great detail. Simply put, it's because we have different abilities. Yeah. Yeah, harnessing the cold is definitely her specialty. In fact, in summertime, just standing next to her cools me down. That's good to know. Uh, capability... I didn't really get it, but never mind. I like snowmen too. Yeah. I, uh, really wish oh. my dad could see them. Poor Joel. I mean, it's talking to Autumn is the same thing. This first snowman, second snowman, you can see the difference. <laughs> this one looks like they're palatine, and this one's just derpy. Oh, time to do another one. Time to do the next one. Hmm. Nice hands, you know, a Santa hat, a nice, beautiful scarf. Oh yes, okay, I know what I need to do. And then a nose. Actually, it's more than nose. I know what I must do. Go back to this one. Uh, I could change it to like, looks evil. What I gotta do is this. Look at that, my three snowmen. They're so beautiful. There we go, that. And that's just be able to basically make your own snowman in a teapot, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. How many primary tools do I have now? How many, how many bushes am I to buy with these? At least two. Yep. Do 30 more to end up on there. Okay, uh. Go back to the event thing. Go to quest. Next phase in two days. This means. Might end up streaming it sometime then. Or I might do another premiere. Who knows? Depending on what it is, I'll definitely be doing this by myself. I enjoyed the cutscene though of us fighting them. In the meantime, just... I mean, might as well just use up all of them here. Uh... Yeah, I'll just find the nine of these I can. I can't get anything else. We got five more. And this is the thing we get from versing the uh, fell flower. So that was Act Two of the quest. I couldn't live stream it because for me, I'm doing the, I'm recording this Wednesday, like not too long after it released on the America server, which was like two hours and thirty minutes ago from right now. It's currently ten twenty-eight p.m. If it, Daily reset was at 8 p.m. 
uh, my time, of course. And tomorrow I can't do because I have stuff going on tomorrow. And then there's already so many videos and stuff of it that I wanted to do it just so I didn't get spoiled by anything. You, you get that? Yeah. So anyway, guys, I don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Check out my Twitch, which I'll be streaming more in the future. Possibly security breach. Uh, don't forget to check out my Twitters. Join my Discord, my gaming Discord as well. Got to actually put it in the description for once. Uh, and I think that's it. So I guess I'll see all of you in the next either premiere video or stream. See ya.